Hey Libra, quick 10 minute reading for your January 1st, 2023. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Let's shuffle three more times to get some of your energy. Yes, Libra, brand new beginnings. The full beautiful energy. Okay, someone's feeling heartbroken. I don't think this is you. Could be somebody that tried to put you in a third party. Hmm. This King of Pentacles? Possibly. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go. Daily Tarot. What's the current energy? What's the overall energy? January 1st, 2023. Let's go. Libra. One card, overall energy for Libra, January 1st, 2023. <laughs> this is hilarious. The Hermit. But you know what I just heard? Into your, You're getting into your um, esoteric studies and you're focused on your manifestations and what you're trying to do in 2023. You're focused on you, boo. Keeping that light burning bright, right? Barts, Libra. There's still a King of Wands energy around you, possibly watching at the bottom of the deck. What can Libra look forward to January 1st, 2023? Or whenever you're viewing this reading. Woo! Woo! The Ace of Wands, let's go. This is the most powerful ace, it is said, because it's like the power of creation. You're being gifted a lot of, uh, this is a lot of power. Whoa, with the magician at the bottom clarifying it? This is huge manifestation power, Libra. Holy moly. This is almost out of this world. Magical manifestation powers. The magician with the ace of wands. That's like double magical wand energy. <laughs> Whoa, I heard scepter. It's like scepter and a magical wand. You can do, I heard infinite amount of things. I'm almost dizzy. Wow. Okay, third card, Daily Tarot. What should Libra avoid? What should Libra avoid? Feeling like it's this... Wow, the Seven of Wands with the King of Pentacles. What? The Seven of Wands with the King of Pentacles is what and who you should avoid. So a masculine energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be in their big three. Or their North Node. Um, also... To avoid the seven of wands, um, avoid battling, like avoid, if people want to get petty with you because you're elevated and they're just mad about it, just let it go. You know what I mean? I mean, that's all I can say about that. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull three more cards for their feelings. Whoever this person is, their current feelings towards Libra. Potential love partner for singles, their current feelings towards Libra. Their current feelings towards Libra. Wow. There it goes again. The Three of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. Shut the front door. <laughs> Wow. 
So they're feeling heartbroken because you're in the Nine of Pentacles energy, single Librans. You're divinely supported. You have a connection to the divine. I mean, to your ancestors. You're lit. You're focused. You're financially free. I mean... You got it going on with the Nine of Pentacles. That's their current feels. Their next move. What's their next move, Spirit? Ooh, dang. Five of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles? <clears throat> what the is going on? So... I guess they're, they're going to go to the Queen of Pentacles. They're going to feel defeated by you, Libra, and move on to a Queen of Pentacles. What is the outcome the next 30 days with this situation? I heard the next best thing. What? What? Dang, spirit. One card, the High Priestess and the Six of Pentacles. Maybe they're going to ask something of the, you, Divine Femme, High Priestess, Energy Librans. And it's like, no. Nah. <laughs> so they go to the Queen of Pentacles instead, knowing that she's got it. Yeah, no, you're not, you're not giving it up. Ah, what? Somebody approaches you and asks you for money? Love-wise? Yeah, Libra, no. Those days are done. Tell them. You're sitting on it now. Look, look. It's like, money is on my mind. Money is all I think of. I don't care. This person had third-party energy around them consistently. You started with the Three of Swords. There's three people in the Five of Swords. We had that Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. And now the outcome is the Four of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. You said, L to the no, to the no, 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 L no. <laughs> Go, Libra, go. That, yo, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Can I just show you this card at the bottom called the Moon's Child with this dragon energy real quick? Like, what? We only have two minutes left, Libra. Hold on. There's a special message here, Libra, with the dragon and the moon's child. It says you must know the powers inside of you. The moon's child calls us to look inside of our own hearts to find the answer to every untold riddle, every question, intuition personified, the goddess within us. You are stronger than you know, hidden secrets and finally revealed. Yes. Stand before the mighty moon dragon. Feel the weight of his gaze as a great test lies before you. Draw courage from your confidence, knowing that you are a child of the great and mighty moon and that no force can harm you. Seeing the strength and depth of your self-knowledge, the dragon nods in approval. You have passed your test. The dragon says you passed your test, Libra. That's so wild. The dragon has been our spirit animal for a while now. Yep, yeah, this is so crazy. Give this reading a thumbs up for the new year. Your affirmation goes as follows. The great secrets and wonders of the mysterious moon live inside of me. I am powerful. I hold the key. I love you, Libra land. Until the next time, stay balanced, stay blessed. As always, happy new year. Peace.